Sam Roberts at Goldington Road, a slightly wet and windy Goldington Road on January the 1st, but I managed to catch a word with Mark Atkinson after a game in which we beat London Scottish and in a game of rugby that pretty much had everything. But what a good win oh. for the Blues. Big, very big, I think. I think when we went underneath our posts, we just can see that try. We just we said to each other, this is probably it. You know, we've got B and I for the next two weeks. And we said, if we lose this, this is this our season, really, I think. So boys dug really deep, and, uh, and that's a horrible cliche. But, yeah, we, we, we went somewhere today. I think that was really good for us. Um, the, 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 the moment of the game that sort of swung back towards them was, was, the, was the sending off. You know, playing with 40 men, but there's something special about 40 men. It gives you yeah. something, something a little bit extra, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I'd happily lose a prop every week. But <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 they, did, they did well. They did um, went really hard, especially went down to 40. I felt sorry for Corey having to go off. You know, he'd had a fantastic game. And all of a sudden, he gets dragged off with 10 minutes to go. And, but, I mean, yeah, it, something everyone sort of galvanised. It's, it's nice, you know, everyone just goes, right, we've got nothing to lose now. We're expected to lose the game because we got down to 14, so... It was, it was even bigger in a way. I think the impressive thing was the management of that game, the way that we managed our way round the park, oh, yeah. especially in the last 10 minutes. Oh. Very, very clever. Not something we're necessarily famous for. You no. could almost hear it in the stand, <laughs> people wondering what we were doing, but we knew what we were doing and we got a very good win out of it. Yeah, these bloody cynics. <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes to go. Don't kick the ball again. But I mean, I mean, sometimes you've got to. It was one of those days where it's never going to be fancy rugby. I think we scored two tries that we were really impressed with in the first half. Some nice handling things. And, and uh, I mean, we just did we had to do I think everyone would have taken that before the game and, and everyone will take it now apart from 15, <laughs> 1500 cynics in this in this ground yeah. we love our running rugby yes, we yeah. spoilt them you see yeah exactly uh, yeah. January the first uh, New Year's Day meal tastes a little bit sweeter doesn't it yeah I think so yeah I think after everyone had to hold back last night I was I was away from my party by 13 minutes past 12 last night so okay. yeah. that's so, official on record now isn't it that's well, good I mean, on record I'll, I'll take it yeah I think Mike <laughs> I told Mike before so I was happy with myself uh, you know everyone had to you know, it's always hard when everyone has to miss a drink on New Year's Eve, so I think it'll be a special one tonight. Well played, Aki. Good boy. Cheers, pal. Let's uh, bring in Matt Hankin as well. Matt, what yeah. a fantastic game of rugby. Yeah, what a good, grinding win. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they uh, they came here with their heads high. You know, they got a good win against London Welsh last week. So, um, I mean, we were the underdogs today, and I think we brought it to them. I think the home crowd helped a lot. You know, we got a good crowd down, and that really pushed us. And I think, you know, wet day, perfect day for a seven, really. So. <laughs> perfect day for a seven. You played very well. You are the Anglian fastest man of the match. But underneath those posts at one point, there must have been some serious words being spoken. Oh, yeah, well, we didn't need need to go down to 14 men. That didn't help. But, I mean, uh, you've, you've just got to play to the conditions. And we, I, I thought our tactics were quite well today, considering the rain and down to 14 men. We were always going to defend for the last 20 minutes. I think we fronted up and, and really put them on the back foot. Across the park, everyone sort of played their part. Um, any discussion about going for the line rather than the post at the end? It could have bounced off the bar, right, couldn't it? Yeah, I mean, I did say, I said post at one point, but I'm only in forward, so I don't get, I don't get a say in anything, so. It was, you know, good front up. I think, you know, me and Nick Fenton Wells, I think we, uh, we could, you know, linked quite well. And we, I think we really closed down their threats that we, we've looked at in the week. Good training week. And um, to come off the back of a loss against Rotherham away last week, we didn't really front up. And I thought, you know, at home game, New Year's Day, we've got to give the fans a good. This Bedford, side, this Bedford side is very famous for playing with the ball in hand, but today was about not having the ball in hand. And I think we did very well. Would yeah, you agree? definitely. I mean, I think we played a bit more first half. I think that's what we tend to do going uphill into the wind and I think I think if we start bringing that into the second half when we are up and we are ahead we can really you know put teams to bed and, and not be under so much pressure but you know all the boys from you know from 1 to 15 I thought we played really well and hopefully bring it into next week uh, I think it's uh, B&I Cup is it next week Clinethley away and hopefully we can go over there and travel well and, and get a good win and uh, you're usually in black and red but you're quite enjoying it in blue I think I am, but yeah, <laughs> definitely. I mean, it's it's always nice to to come down and, and and you know meet new people and play with different different style of play. I think I think the way Bedford play as well is you know it's it's, it's enjoyable and and um, I think you know I like getting in the wide channels and, and playing with the ball in hand a bit and um, I think it paid off today really. Certainly played well today, Matt. Yeah, well done. Thank you very much. Thank you.